<laughs> All the stomach growls. Swallowing. It picks those up, too. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. All right, uh, Bob Brown, this is the dialogue for the script on the Machinist IAM film, The Canvasser. And here we go. Hi, I'm Jim Gamble. And I'm Susan Thomas. We're IAM stewards who have done quite a bit of on-the-job canvassing. What we'd like to do is pass on some tips for those of you who are going to be canvassers. Can we, can we start one more time, please? Sure thing. Here we go from the top. Excuse me, Linda, but aren't you concerned about the gross national product vis-a-vis -vis the oppressed working class or high unemployment due to the lack of coherent industrial strategy? Huh? Look, I don't know what your problem is, buddy, but why don't you take that pamphlet and... Bleep, bleep, bleep. Okay, let's, let's go back to uh, Jim's uh, 17. I'll get some page turn in there during your dialogue. And you got what? Somebody was turning a page during your dialogue. Okay. You rolling? Rolling on 17. This is a pickup on 17. Hi, Howard. What? Pick it up again. Hi, turn Howard. Page. Hi, Howard. Hi, Susan. What's up? I'm helping out with the union's on-the-job canvas. Oh, yeah? How did you get involved in that? Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy and began looking into the issue. It sure opened my eyes. What do you mean? Well, we looked at profits the oil companies have been making and what they're doing with those profits. That was obviously much better. Susan didn't come off sounding like a recording. She didn't rehearse any lines, and she introduced the subject casually in a conversational manner. The other important thing to remember is the leaflet. Let it do the talking for you. Your leaf... Excuse me. Uh, what are you thinking in here that maybe just for a uh, case we should go back to the top of 20 and get that whole dialogue one more time as a discussion? Okay. Okay, and, and uh, uh, Howard, uh, Frank, hi, Susan, what's up? And then you're over there, hey, yeah, how'd you get involved with that? And when you said, what do you mean, you were sort of flat, what do you mean? What do you mean? You know, it's you're curious good. about what no, she's okay. on. Okay. Okay, it's a pickup on 20. What do you mean? No, say that again. What do you mean? The other important thing to remember is the leaflet. Let it do the talking for you. Would you give me a repeat on that? You there are three ABCs of canvassing. The first is always be confident. And the best way to be confident is to know something about the issue. Let's pick that up again, please. Uh, Susan, one, one, uh, Karen, one thing, when, when we turn to, when, whoever it is at the top of the page, when we come to a new page, let everybody quit, you know, move their page over before you start. Yeah, let's everybody move it and then, oh. very good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. You want to pick up with 32 again? Three, yes, please. Okay. Rolling. Pick up on 32. The second rule of canvassing is always be in control of your temper. If you find yourself in a hostile situation, this rule can help. Let's take a look at what not to do. Look, I'm getting sick and tired of guys like you. Get lost. Now hang on. If you keep your mouth shut, you might learn something. I told you I don't want to hear about it. You just don't know what's good for you. Arguments are to be avoided at all costs. They spell disaster for a canvas. If you get a hostile reaction, if the person you approach couldn't care less about the issue, back off. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. Would you do that a little better for me? And, and you're running that all into one giant sentence. Uh, okay. While you stopped here, I, was, I should have said it, I guess, at the time here, but when she said, let's take a look at what not to do, instead of what, let's take a look at what not to do, let's take a look at what not to do. Okay. Because that the emphasizes that we're not going to do it this way here. Okay. Can, can you go back that far? Was How far back were you? Have anything? It's, on, it's, it's on 36. I guess I... Sure, we can go back to 36. But, but you just rolled into the list. Yeah, but while we're at it, let's also talk about 45s, Karen. All right. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. 
you have approached the person. In other words, you're, you're ticking off things that they're going to do. Respect. This is a pickup on 36. The second rule of canvassing is always be in control of your temper. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you have to move. Look towards your mic. Okay. 36. A repeat. Arguments are to be avoided at all costs. They spell disaster for a canvas. Can you say they spell disaster for a canvas? Hit that a little harder. Okay. Arguments. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. In most cases, the individual canvas. I have to start that over. Sorry. Watch the word. The petitions help to create a sense of involvement and participation among the workers being canvassed. You do that one again. That was a little okay. flat. We'll the <coughs> petitions. The petitions help create a sense of involvement. <laughs> and participation among the workers. Let's pick up on 60. The best place for canvassing is in the lunchroom. The smoking area. Coffee break area. The parking lot. Or the locker room. So there you have it. Some tips on canvassing. Can we do that one again just a little slower? Yeah. OK. Go ahead, 66, pick up. The best place. Oh. The best place for canvassing is in the lunchroom. The smoking area. Coffee break area. The parking lot. Or the locker room. So there you have it. Some tips on canvassing. Let's go over the three ABCs one more time. Okay, let's stop. Okay. I think it's that last word again on her, the locker room. Somebody started to turn pages at that point. Okay, well, let's redo 66, huh? And no, you and Karen, that is. What should I do about that? Tell them to take a message. I'll call them back. I'm recording. Thank you. Yes, sir. Parking lot. Duh. Oh, okay. Probably not marked on your copy there. It's there, but it's. The smoking area, the coffee break area, the parking lot. Yeah, it's okay. the coffee break area. Okay. In other words, we're describing a bunch of things of where they can do this. Okay. You and I conversation. We're taking turns at telling them the places as it pops on the screen. Okay. Okay, here we go. Pick up on 66, and everybody slid their pages over so we can go on, right? Here we go. Always be controlled. No, Susan, say that a little slower. Always be controlled, because that's going to flash on the screen when it comes up. Oh. Okay, here we go. It's a pick up on 69. Always be controlled. If you get a hostile or cold reaction... Always be considerate. Okay. You got any coffee there? Huh? Do you have any coffee there? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> she drinks, you know. You're never gonna make it. You're up as you go along. Yeah. You? Yeah. You Take your time. <coughs> you, 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 you got a lot of time. He's got more tape in there than I. Okay. You've had mine. Whatever. It's my voice and my nerves. Now here you're saying <laughs> always be controlled. Okay. About like that, because as you say that, it's gonna say always be controlled. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Want a bite? Uh, no thanks. I'm on a diet. Hey, Millie, there's something I want to talk to you about that really bugs me. I was at this machinist meeting on taxes a few days ago. Boy, is the whole tax system ever unfair. Our taxes keep going up and up while these companies pay so little. Let's do that again. Okay. Taxes keep going up and up while the companies pay so little. Okay. You sort of Bust threw that it. up a little bit. Okay. Let's go back to want a bite, huh? And, uh, you know, you're holding this thing out, want a bite? And you say, ah, no thanks, this thing is huge. You, did you see it? No. Well, it's about that long. And she's holding this out, you want a bite. Oh, okay. You say, oh, no thanks, I'm on a diet. All okay. right, here we go, 73, when you're ready. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Want a bite? Oh, no thanks, I'm on a diet. Hey, Millie, there's something I want to talk to you about. The, I gotta start that over, I botched it. Okay, let's go up back to, want, hey, you want a bite? <laughs> Should I say, hey, want a bite? Hey, want a bite? Uh, no thanks. I'm on a diet. Hey, Millie, there's something I want to talk to you about that really bugs me. I was at this machinist meeting on taxes a few days ago. Boy, is the whole tax system ever unfair. Our taxes keep going up and up 
while these companies pay so little. This whole tax thing really hits home every time I look at the difference between my gross pay and my net salary on my paycheck. I yeah. think you're going to have to do 76 over it because you <laughs> ran out of breath. I think so, too. Charlie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's put a let's put a seventy four A in there, right? No, and we'll have Millie. Seventy five A. No. Well, she's already told her what bugs me. What what am I saying? Seventy five A? Wait a minute. How's that, Susan? Wait a minute. All right, look, why don't we why don't we take part of her seventy seven and tuck it between seventy five and seventy six? Stand by. Hey, want a bite? I'm sorry, we're rolling out. Let's do it again, please. Uh, no thanks. I'm on a diet. Hey, Millie, there's something no, I, no. I botched that. <laughs> hey, Millie, <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's say, oh, no thanks. This whole tax thing really hits home every time you look at the difference between my gross... I, no, I said I the wrong word. Repeat on 76. Hey, what's this quiz in the pam in the leaflet? Nope. Okay, we'll just do a repeat on 81. <laughs> hey, what's this quiz in the leaflet? Can you oh. do it like this? Hey, what's this quiz in the leaflet? Pause after hey, right? Hey, hold on, not so fast. Is this one of those ranting political speeches? This union has a big enough job to do without getting involved in politics. Well, Millie, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if we don't get involved politically and try to do something about taxes, they'll keep going up and take away what we get at the bargaining table. Okay, I'd like to go back and do a repeat on Millie at 83 and keep your pages so that you don't have to make yeah. a change there. I didn't realize that. And uh, Millie, that. now hold on, not so fast. Is this one of those ranting political speeches? You're a little sarcastic and you're asking a question before you were a little flat. Okay. And then you're going to lecture her by saying, look, this union's got a big enough job to do without getting involved in politics. Okay, here we go on a pick up on 83. Okay, okay, I'll sign it now. Okay, okay, I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now I want to finish eating my lunch. No, you, you, you're too flat there. Let me look at it. Okay, okay. I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Pause. Now, I want to get back to eating my lunch. You want to get back to finish eating my lunch? Ah, all right. I want to finish eating my lunch. I want to finish eating my lunch, yeah. I've got to stop ad-libbing in the studio. You know <laughs> Oh, really? Here we go. We're going to pick it up on 91 and Millie. Okay, okay. I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now I want to get back to finish eating my lunch. Whoop! <laughs> I want to get back to finish eating my lunch. That was a little bit... That's my fault from before. You remembered every word I said. <laughs> okay, here we go. Got another one on 91, Millie. That was good except for that. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 You, you, she's been pestering you all through lunch now, and you're sort of you're a little fed up with this. Okay, okay, I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now, I want to finish eating my lunch. You're sort of pleading with her to let you along. Thanks, Millie. Hey, one last thing. Why not take the leaflet home to your family? These unfair taxes affect them, too. Hey, maybe we ought to have a petition about your sandwiches. That's pretty good, but you could say it more like this. Hey, maybe we ought to have a petition about your sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Now, do you want to hear this back so that we can see if we can learn anything by hearing it? Jerry? You're Hi, very, Howard. Whoops. Wait a minute. Very friendly. Hi, Howard. Okay, we're rolling. Hi, Howard. Hi, Susan. What's up? 
No, that's flat. Okay. Yeah. Look, you're, you're reading it. Hi, hi, Susan. What's up? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, but he says, hi, Susan, what's up? That's right. But I'll friendly, you know. That's right. Okay. She's, she's walked in on you. You're busy working. Okay. Okay, this is the pickup. We're rolling. Hi, Howard. Hi, Susan. What's up? No. You, you, <laughs> that isn't the way you'd greet her. You'd say, hi, Susan, what's up? You're just a little bit flat like you're reading it. So, I mean, just maybe if you didn't read it and looked at her and just okay. said, hi, Susan, what's up? Okay. All right, here we go. Hi, Howard. No, you're not talking to the microphone now. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. You're just walking and he's working and you're greeting him. Hi, Howard. Hi, Susan. What's up? I'm helping out with the union's on-the-job canvas. Oh, yeah? How did you get involved in that? Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy and began looking into the issue. It sure opened my eyes. What do you mean? Well, we looked at profits the oil companies have been making and what they're doing with those profits. That was obviously much better. Susan didn't come off sounding like a recording. She didn't rehearse any lines, and she introduced the subject casually in a conversational manner. Yeah, sure. All right, a little smooth. Yeah, all right. Well, we're going to do that again on uh, page three, okay. and we're starting at, at 20, and we're nice and friendly and conversational. Hi, Howard. Hi, Susan. What's up? I'm helping out with the union's on-the-job canvas. Oh, yeah? How do you get involved in that? Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy and began looking into the issue. It sure opened my eyes. What do you mean? Well, we looked at profits the oil companies have been making and what they're doing with those profits. That was obviously much better. Susan didn't come off sounding like a recording. She didn't rehearse any lines, and she introduced the subject casually in a conversational manner. Some of us were, I gotta do that again. It's okay, pick up 24, everything's fine with that. Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy and began looking into the issue. It sure opened my eyes. What do you mean? Well... Well, hold it. I want to do 24 again, if I may. You said it sure opened my eyes. I mean, you know, it sure opened my eyes. Okay, do I say it flat again? Yeah, you okay. have too flat there. Everything's fine. Let's pick up 24. And you say, what do you mean? Okay, here we go. 24. Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy and began looking into the issue. It sure opened my eyes. You're going too fast. You're a little railroad. Okay. Slow down, there. <laughs> Slow down. Okay. Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy and began looking into the issue. All right. It sure opened my eyes. Okay. All right, here we go. Number 24. Some of us in the machinist union became concerned with the high cost of energy. No, no, dear. You're reading it. Okay. Some of us in the machinist union became concerned. You're concerned. Put a little feeling into it. Okay. All right, here we go, 24. Some of us in the machinist union be... Okay, let me try it again. Okay. What do you mean? No. What do you mean? Okay. and participation in the issue among the workers. The third rule of canvassing is just plain common sense. Always be considerate. Arguments are to be avoided at all costs. They spell disaster.
I'm going to do six. I'll announce them as I go along. Okay, this is our pickup. All right. The, roll. We're all right. right, these are pickups. All right. This is a pickup. It's scene six. It's a program that will work in any IAM shop, large or small, in any industry. Okay, we now go to, this is 27. That was obviously much better. Susan didn't come off sounding like a recording. She didn't rehearse any lines, and she introduced the subject casually in a conversational manner. I'm going to do it again. That obviously was much better. Susan didn't come off sounding like a recording. She didn't rehearse any lines, and she introduced the subject casually in a conversational manner. Now we're picking up uh, Susan. I want you to do 45. This are you rolling? All right, this is a pickup, scene 45. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. Let's do this with a little more feeling. Okay, absolutely. As a canvasser, you've done your job. You've approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. Okay, okay. 45, here we go. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. Very good. Okay, I'll just, let's try one more time. Can I have you move back just to have a little bit with you? Right about there, that's good. Okay. One more time. That was done. The emphasis was perfect there. Okay. 45. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. What are you Too running fast? for? Too yeah. fast? Oh, yeah. Okay. See. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you've done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. Okay, okay here we go. 45. This is a take. Absolutely. I got to take that over. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. As a canvasser, you have done your job. You have approached the person. Respect your coworkers' opinions. They have a right not to agree. Okay. Now we want to do, here we go. We want to do number 71, which is Jim. I'm Jim. We're going to change that. Let's see an example. Okay, pick up on scene 71. Now that we've given you tips on canvassing, let's show you an example of a successful canvas. Hi, Millie. Are my eyes deceiving me? Is that sandwich for real? Okay. Now we want to do Susan on 80. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, sir? Would you want to try to do 72 over again? Sure. Uh, Hi, Millie. Is that sandwich for real? Hi, Millie. Are my eyes deceiving me? You know, just really, you kind of flowed together the last time. Okay. Pick up on 72. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to do 80. And the only thing we're changing here, do you have to make a note on your copy okay. there, is in the se third sentence, after they explained how little taxes, put taxes between little and companies. OK, Jim, already put that down. All right, and take out pay in taxes, take out scratch out in taxes in the next line. All right. So it'll read, after they explained how little taxes companies pay compared to workers, we all agreed. Put a little comma after pay. After they explained how little taxes companies pay Compared to workers, we all agreed to talk to members about it. Okay. No, you don't. Don't put the comma in after pay. It's after workers. What about okay? After they explain how little taxes companies pay compared to workers, comma, we all agreed to talk to the members about it. Okay. Already, here we go. Pick up on eighty. I used to feel that way too, but let me show you how this leaflet they gave us at. Whoa. Take that over. Hey, she's ad living, Jerry. I'm copying. <laughs> All right, I'll yeah. slow down, Jim. Okay, here we go on 80 for sure. Okay. I used to feel that way too, but let me show you this leaflet they gave us at the meeting. 
After they explained how little companies pay in taxes compared to workers, we all agreed to talk to the members about it. Much better. Then we had, I want Millie to do 91. Millie, you're, you're, uh, you know, you're, you're aggravated. She's been pestering you all through lunch. Okay, okay, I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now, I want to finish eating my lunch, you know, get off my back. All right, here we go, pick up on 91. Okay, okay, I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now, I want to finish eating my lunch. No. I don't like the, now I want to finish eating my lunch. Now, I want to finish eating my lunch. And, and ask, and, and, uh, You're sort of asking your nice to do it. We also need a little more pause between the okays. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll sign it now. You're, you're convinced. You're saying, I agree, we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. I mean, you know, they're, they're just terrible. Now, I want to eat my lunch. <laughs> Let me alone. Okay, let's try 91 again. Okay, okay, I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now, I want to finish eating my lunch. I think that was much better. Now, Susan, I want you to do 95, and this is a wrap-up of all this thing and your experience. This has been a lot of fun, and make it sound like it's been a lot of fun. You're not, it's not a giggly fun, but it's, it's been a pleasant experience. Okay. You've made a lot of friends. You've learned a lot about the issues affecting my coworkers. Pick up on 95. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends and learned a lot about the issues affecting my coworkers. Well, you put in a word B <laughs> we didn't need, but that's okay. Let's try it one more time. Okay. My experience... No, my voice cracked. Yeah. Oh, this is terrible. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends and learned a lot about the issues affecting my coworkers. And there goes the the in there. What the? Where You're am I sticking it? Putting the between about and issues. Oh, there's no the there. Uh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Slow it down just a little bit. You okay. know, this is all over. This is your summing up. Okay. And, and you've really, really been enjoyable. Okay. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends and learned a lot about issues affecting my coworkers. I know, that's what... <laughs> I was trying to end before that happened. Okay. <clears throat> okay, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. My experience in canvas... I can't do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <clears throat> Shut up. Yeah. You can't have my coffee. It's not the coffee, it's my stomach or my throat or something. Okay. One more time. My experience. Hello. Turn around, Jim. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends and learned a lot about issues affecting my coworkers. I feel the same way, Susan. I've helped accomplish a lot of good things for our members because I've been able to learn what is on their minds as well. I didn't. I screwed that up pretty good. I've been able to learn. What is on their minds as well? I've been able to learn what is on their minds as well. Okay. I think so too. You, you, really, you started speeding up at the last time. <coughs> maybe that sentence is too long or something. No, it's, it's me, Jim. It's not the sentence, it's the person. Well, I think if you'd say, take a little comma after friends, if you want to plug a little comma yeah, in there. I made a lot of friends. You made a lot of friends. And learned a lot about he put the V the in there, too. Yeah. You're the devil that's been doing it. <laughs> when you coach her, you put it in. <laughs> All right, we're going to do 95 one more time. Charlie, I wonder if you could take it and maybe accentuate a couple of words Me? for her. Me? You know, oh. underline a couple of words okay, for her. Okay, sure. Which might make her sound a little more bubbly. Sound like you've been recording all morning. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends and learned a lot about issues affecting my coworkers. That was a pickup on 95 and sounded good. What if we can play the pickups back, please? I just thought it'd be a joke. <laughs> you have to hear my friend on tape. <laughs>
at first. Now that we have. Oh, okay. Well, she's ready. Let's not. Let's not mess it up. Okay. Okay, okay we're rolling. All right, just to pick up a part of 90 leading into 91. Now that you have worked the quiz and read the leaflet, how about it? Okay, okay, I'll sign it. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now, can I finish eating my lunch? One more time. She started turning away from the mic yeah, before she was done yeah. talking. Yeah. You just yeah. keep looking at, look yeah, at, uh, at Dave looking there, at yeah. Howard. Frank. Okay, here we go. You don't have to give any more lead up. Okay. I'm just going to go start okay, okay. Nine, okay. Here we go. Ready? Do it. Okay, okay. I'll sign it now. I agree we've got to do something about the taxes we pay. Now I want to finish eating my lunch. Good. He loves it. He loves it. Let's yeah, do 45 yeah, he, now. He, he gave you a victory sign. So. <laughs> Here comes 45, Susan. That was very good. Now we're going to do 95. Okay. It was fun one again. My experience in canvassing <clears throat> has been a lot of fun. Here we go, 95. My experience, yeah. mm -mm. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. No, you, that's, it's dead right straight across. I want a little dips in it. Okay. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. Okay. My experience in canvassing has been a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends and learned a lot about issues affecting my coworkers. I feel the same way, Susan. I've helped accomplish a lot of good things for our members because I've been able to learn what is on their minds as well. And you're right, canvassing is a lot of fun. I like it, Jer. Beautiful. Very good. That's a good night. That's a good night. You bet it's a good night. That's all we got.